and they went to go get them. Okay? So that's, I want you to understand that. Those of you, when we get into the story a little later, that this wasn't just this Tyree guy, that um, Tyree Nichols guy. This wasn't just like a regular traffic stop. Like, hey, uh, you're going five miles over the speed limit. Um, Just want to tell you to slow it down, bucko. I'm just going to give you this warning. And no, he was being... <laughs> He was being tracked down by a tactical unit that's attacking the problem they're having in Memphis with reckless driving. DC Wheels started as my college project, and we now sell our wheel covers all around the world. A WREG veteran, a photojournalist, finding himself part of a scary story Monday morning when the driver of this car puts his vehicle in reverse, narrowly missing our colleague. It was all caught on his dash camera and by patrolling police at Wagner Place in Bill Street, where hundreds were out. The driver returned doing donuts as smoke from the tires filled the air. I just find it very disturbing. This Memphis mother did not want to show her face on camera, saying if someone will do this with police around, they are unpredictable. Where can I go if I can't go in my neighborhood and walk safely? And I can't go downtown and walk safely. Where can I go? Memphis police telling us incidents involving reckless driving have surged. So too are the requests for speed bumps. So what's up, Wicked? Man, I know you guys are having this problem in Chicago too, right? You already know it. Yeah, man. Um, and listen, man, this son man in Memphis who them who's who they're about to be protesting for this weekend. Um, and everybody in America is gonna act like they care so much about. <laughs> he might have been the greatest guy to ever fucking live. You know what I'm saying? He might have been the best person that ever God ever created. <laughs> but they have a, they have a, they've they're addressing this. This is a huge problem in Memphis right now, reckless driving. And then when they pull you up for reckless driving, the last thing you want to do is run. When they finally catch you, fight. Because this is not regular police. They have a unit out there now because of all the reckless drivers. In 2018, there were 318. Already this year, a 300% increase with more than 1,000 petitioning for the deterrent. Yeah, we have to do better because I want to be safe. For safety reasons. She now, do you think she's protesting? This weekend, oh, she's definitely protesting. <laughs> I might, I might go protest. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. But, but go ahead. Jokes aside, though, let's be honest. Me and you, Chief, they didn't have to fuck him up like that. Well, a lot of those injuries are from like not just from the beating, and plus, I haven't seen the beating, and I don't know how much he was fighting back, and I don't know nothing. Like we know, he was recklessly driving. They finally caught him. He gets out of the car and he starts booking it. They catch him and then he starts fighting. We know those things. Now, what happened mm -hmm. after that? I'm just here because these five good men, these good brothers, everybody's trying to act like they're, they're, they're now everybody is cool. It's it, like these are these you asked brothers to go police their community. They're doing it. You said there was a problem with reckless drivers in the community. These brothers signed up. I'm sure this detail that was, I don't know too much about policing. Maybe you guys can help me. When there's a special detail like this to attack a certain problem in the community, do they pick you or, or do you sign up? How does that work? I think I think you got to have numbers for it. If you want to go into a, like a specialized unit, yeah. I think they pick you up if you have, if you show that you're, you know, proactive, you know? Mm -hmm. What's up, Stunner? You're pretty low. Okay, man. Get your mic together. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to you. For safety reasons, she travels from South Memphis to the Riverwalk, but that too is becoming risky. I can't walk safely knowing that at any moment you're going to make a dumb decision and come out here and do donuts. It didn't take very long to actually spot drivers going well above the posted speed limit. 
However, city leaders are hoping that the speed bump will force drivers to take it slow. Meanwhile, the Memphis mother we spoke with says she's going to continue enjoying the outdoors. However, she will remain on high alert. Tire markings like these are a reminder of a pandemic within a pandemic. Drive so now I didn't call the reckless driver situation in Memphis pandemic. Everyone hit one. Hit one. Hit one if you realize, if you can recognize that I didn't call it that. It wasn't me. I'm not the person that said reckless driving in Memphis has become a pandemic. It wasn't me that said that. Because I just know that somebody's going to come and say, man, you called the pandemic, man. Tire markings like these are a reminder of a pandemic within a pandemic. Drive safely. Don't do donuts. Act like you got some common sense. Sadly, common sense may not be so common. Reporting in downtown Memphis, Jarita Patterson, WREG. Um, it's a little choppy, Chief. Oh, okay, let me let me let me try. Oh, we got we got people in the building. The fishermen salute. The fuck. Yo, if you can hear it, we can hear it. Salute the society of oh, the man. Hear me? Never went to come with you. Salute to you. You said your mic still sounds bad, dude. Mine? No, no, no. I, I think that was Stunner talking and his mic's on his bad still. Stunner. Stunner, man. What's going on? Stunner, Stunner never has these problems, man. Stunner, you better turn that ch trade that variety in for a pair of headphones, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stunner out here riding the Maserati and they got Jakey said fools, man. What the <laughs> hell, man? It's sun man shit, man. That's sun man shit right there, man. You ain't even got your shit together, man. All right, let's see. Um, Once you meet with a TurboTax oh, expert shit. who will do your taxes for you, you're free to do I got to switch to another. Um, my other. Okay. Yeah, man, this, this, this is a, a huge problem. If you've noticed more Memphis drivers driving dangerously, you're not alone. Tonight, Memphis City Council hearing from the public about ways to stop somehow the widespread threat of reckless and dangerous drivers out there. Our Stephen Pimpo reports one woman's close call with a high-speed crash has her taking matters into her own hands. <laughs> People living in Memphis's Colonial Acres say drag racers and reckless drivers doing donuts in the street have terrorized the residential neighborhood for at least six months. I can hear them going up and down Willow, up and down Colonial. One longtime resident who wants to remain anonymous for his own safety told me it's only a matter of time before it leads to tragedy. There's too many kids and dogs and pedestrians walking around here for that to continue. Leading right up to Colonial Middle School, one resident tells me he's seen cars tearing down this road going well over 100 miles an hour. And it's tried on Who you think's going through this nice glider neighborhood <laughs> recklessly driving like with a school like right there? Son, bro. Yeah. Yo, but I, only one way I could think of to stop this. Okay. You know, the police. Perhaps <laughs> five, but perhaps five summer police, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we need, we need, I'm putting a call out for all you brothers to come police your own community, man, so that the white man don't got to do it, man. Um, on a few occasions to catch it on video, some of his neighbors are afraid of even doing that. Several people mentioned that they're actually afraid to say, to speak out against what they're seeing or to even come out of their houses and videotape. So Leslie Taylor is. You heard that? <laughs> The, the most protected woman in the world, the standard of beauty, uh, the queen of the universe. <laughs> you better not lay a finger on one of these or you're going to be hanging from a tree. Let's see what she got to say about the situation, right? 
some of his neighbors are afraid of even doing that. Several people mentioned that they're actually afraid to say, to speak out against what they're seeing or to even come out of their houses and videotape. So Leslie Taylor is speaking. <laughs> okay. Any any thoughts, brothers? The, the pandemic of reckless driving, man, in Memphis is so bad, man. But uh, in these glider neighborhoods where these um, mystery people are doing all this reckless driving, the people are afraid to speak out, man. How, how did that happen in a nickly racist country, man? Do you remember what a Liberian man said a long while back about uh, traffic in yeah, Liberia? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, this is just the recreation of that. Uh, I could see if it was in their community, but yeah, they but they're they're taking it into other people's community. Yeah, but I'm just saying the behavior is the same. Like uh, the rule, rules need not apply. This is some videotape. So Leslie Taylor is speaking on their behalf. After narrowly escaping a head-on crash herself, she's organized a meeting with Memphians and city leadership to try and find a way to make the roads safe again. People are fed up. Some people are scared. They don't want to live in a city where they feel like they're driving back and forth to work and school on the Indy 500. City Councilman Ford Canale helped her organize the meeting. People are, are scared to drive right now, especially our seniors, uh, those that have kids that are just now turning 16. If, I, if my child is getting ready to turn 16, I'm not sure that I would give them the keys to the car. He says reckless driving is the single largest complaint that he gets through his office. Did you hear that? Reckless driving is the single largest complaint that he gets through his office. Helped her organize the meeting. People are, are scared to drive right now, especially our seniors, uh, those that have kids that are just now turning 16. If I, if my child is getting ready to turn 16, I'm not sure that I would give them the keys to the car. He says, right. <laughs> hey, man, these are some bold statements to me. Like, I, I don't know. These are some insane statements, man. This, these ain't like just like, man, it's really bad out here. It needs to change. These are some crazy statements being made about this issue down there, man. Now, Memphis did get a unit to, <laughs> they got a specialized unit to try to curtail this. And that's how we're going to get into this, the main <laughs> event tonight. Tyree Nichols, who, who's reckless driving and was pulled over. And then he ran from the police and then fought with the police. But he was initially pulled over for reckless driving. Sure that I would give him the case to the car. He said reckless driving is the single largest complaint that he gets through his office. It's deadly and more innocent lives are going to be lost if we don't do something about it. In Memphis, I'm Stephen Pimpo. <laughs> Sounds like a, like a huge issue down there. <laughs> Yeah, man, sound like, sound like sound like something that the people wanted addressed, man. They wanted this addressed. <laughs> I, I get the impression that that's a common issue as opposed to what happened with these five officers. <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy, man. We've all seen it. We've reported on it. Drag racing on the interstates. These are called slideshows happening in broad daylight, making Memphis roads especially dangerous. Memphis police tell us there's been a dramatic spike in both since 2020. And tonight we know that people got a chance to find out some ways that officers are trying to crack down for the new year. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon is joining. All right. You heard that, right? This is both since 2020. And tonight we know that people got a chance to find out some ways that officers are trying to crack down for the new year. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon is joining us live in the Midtown area. Kayla, reckless driving, drag racing, they both go hand in hand. That's right, Darcy. And it starts with our officers. One announcement that Chief C.J. Davis made on behalf of the Memphis Police Department is that they're adding 15 full time traffic officers that'll focus just on traffic enforcement okay <laughs> all right 
Imagine if you signed up for this and it ended up on fucking death row and shit facing 25 yeah, years in prison. Because <laughs> you pulled over a sudden man that was recklessly driving and he ran. And then when you caught him, he fought. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, Fabian, man? I guess not. Um, yeah, man, it's crazy out here, man. Fabian could have been to us with a mindset of this Sunday. You got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta have to play back. The play I, think back that's, the play I think that's back. Fabian with the playback. Yeah, yeah, that is him. Yeah, that's him. But he'll give us the whole... Uh, the whole theory and, and this young man who uh why he ran and then and then he'll go into the 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 genome of the summon that beat him check 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 yeah you good man what's happening hey how's it going salute to Katie she says I hope the police fall back entirely from the hoods go ahead um go ahead um baby I mean, yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of factors involved in this. Okay. You know, like, I mean, one thing that's characteristic that you notice a lot is what you would call like risky behavior, like whatever is the opposite of risk aversion. Right. Right. So this kind of like bold, audacious, you know, visible risky behavior is a pretty typical way for males to um uh, compete in their status hierarchy. And uh, it's interesting. I mean, one thing that comes into it, I was looking at like videos on YouTube of uh, police interactions with some people. And um, one thing that strikes me is that um, it's funny. I had when when you were looking at that, I had like a thousand thoughts about it, and now I'm trying to like <laughs> gather them together. But um, notions of authority, like the sense of authority. Um, oh my god! Yeah, no, sorry. We'll, we'll, uh, on, come, on, we'll come back. We'll come back. To yeah, you. yeah. You know what? Let me. Yeah, do that, and let me let me try to write some of this down so I can collect it a little bit. And I'll Wait, try who to are you? And where's Fabian, dude? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm sorry. I I I'm, I told you I told you last night this format trips me up. I'm not used to it, but I'll I'll yeah, see what we, I can do. Uh, we, right, we, we need we, that we need that TED talk. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to I'll try to get it together. We get back to you, Fabian. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, um. yeah. That's right, Darcy. And it starts with our officers. One announcement that Chief C.J. Davis made on behalf of the Memphis Police Department is that they're adding 15 full time traffic officers that will focus just on traffic enforcement. Some other highlights from tonight's forum. The community got to ask questions and one of those was how strictly these drivers are being prosecuted. That was all left up to District Attorney Steve Mulroy, who says that most of the reckless driving we see are Class B misdemeanors, which means it's a $500 fine, and they may have a court date or some may not. But he said one A $500 fine, they may have a court date and some may not. And they just, this is the, the DA that was, um, it had George Floyd and Breonna Taylor's families campaigning for him even though neither one of them are from memphis but but you know that goes to show you I, those cops should have known better yeah it's not worth risking your life to arrest somebody who's putting everyone's life in danger on the streets well well keep in mind what you just said she don't have their back they knew that going in <sighs> For a fact. I mean, you don't know what she's telling them behind the closed doors. I'm sure she's not going in the meeting like, hey, guys, we really need to get out here and stop mm -hmm. this stuff. I don't have your back, but you're on your fucking own. But I need to go. she's not telling them that in the meeting. No, 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 no. Look, trust me when I tell you, the second the cops saw her bringing big dogs, family around and talking all this bullshit, so were we. Well, the DA is a guy. The, the police chief is a woman. She's well, she, well, you know what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see. And they may have a court date or some may not. But he said one thing they do know for sure is that there's been a 
hundred percent increase in the prosecution of people who are drag racing. Coming up at 10, we'll hear more from some city leaders and we'll also hear from community members some of those questions that they had for leaders. Well, that was Fox 13's Kayla Solomon reporting today. You know, we have seen countless videos of reckless driving, people doing donuts in Memphis. Well, this is video that our crews recorded last May at the intersection of National Street and Macon Road. In it, you can see, of course, cars stopped on both sides of the intersection before finally pulling off. That's just a Mustang doing what Mustangs do in the wild. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it. driving is an issue only intensifying in the Bluff City. Tonight, dozens of Memphians sounding off about this reckless driving and drag racing. A town hall meeting was held by a city council member. WREG's Bria Jones joins us live now from outside the Benjamin Hook Central Library after Smash. attending the meeting. Bria, what did they have to say? Well, Greg and staff tonight was filled with data and suggestions on how to curb reckless driving. There were also tense moments from community members demanding answers to their questions. Why do we have drag strips in That's our right. car? Like, why do we, like, do we care more about how quickly we can get to work? This is a 65% black city. And every time we come to the city and we go to the town hall meetings, it looks like this. What's up, Razzle? What's going on, man? What up, man? Just, just catching up with y'all. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't know what's going on, so I'm gonna be quiet. What up, gentlemen? How y'all doing? Well, we, we're just talking. But we're, we're gonna get into this Tyree Nichols situation. It's about to be a huge BLM. Right. It's, it's gonna bring BLM back, man. <laughs> right. Yo, yo. Right matter of fact, right. matter of fact, Razzle. This Saturday, I'm hitting the Gucci store. You coming with? Or what? Hell yeah. Hell Let's yeah. Do it. The ski Italian mask shoes up, run narrow. Just remember that, bro. Right, right. Ski mask all oh, Black Lives Matter. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. And, and this guy, and this guy he, he was originally pulled over by a special unit for reckless driving. He wasn't pulled over by beat cops. He was pulled over by a special um, reckless driving unit in an unmarked car. And he gets out of his car and he runs. They catch him and he begins to fight. And then, you know, he ended up getting his ass kicked, allegedly. Or who knows? They could have been trying to detain him. And he could have been got fucked up like that. Who knows? But that's he's all dead. I have. Huh? He's, he's dead. Yeah, he, he, oh. yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He, he's in the um, Yeah, he, 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 they, they, they fucked him up real bad. Steve McQueen, bro, for everyone. Over at Wednesday yeah. night's community meeting. Look, at the, look at this, man. What the fuck? This city's sixty-five percent black. I like that the ten white people still live in there. Care <laughs> like it matters. Like a hundred of them. <laughs> Get on Redfin, y'all. It's over. I think it's funny that they're there, thinking that anyone gives a fuck what they have to say. Yeah, and they can't. And they're there, and they know they can't really speak. They can't really say what, like, they, like this woman right here who who got up. This this pasty liberal woman, she knows she better watch her fucking mouth. Why do we have drag strips in our right. car? Like, why do we like? Do we care more about how quickly we can get to work? Frustrations boiling over at Wednesday night's community meeting on reckless driving and drag racing. These are the sights and sounds that have residents fed up. Lauren Joganetti is upset about drag racing on Highland near the Green Line. About a year ago, we had two drag racers hanging out their windows, shooting at each other with AK-47s. The police came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know, the worst thing is, they just sound regular now, you know? <laughs> I was like, and, and then what? What kind of car was it? <laughs> Yeah. Are you regretting those marches yet, Glider Queens? Maybe this is not what you had in mind. No, not yeah. yet. Yeah, this is this is these were deaf. I don't think these ones were marching. I think these ones were the type that, like, if anybody they know 
said, like tweeted something like anti BLM, they would like check blast them. them. Yeah, check them or something like that a lot. Like, yeah, if, if their glider men and their family said something at the Thanksgiving table, they had to educate them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. These and they'd get them fired if they if they clap back too much. Exactly. Put them on tape. These don't look like the type to actually get out there and, 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 and protest them. Said about drag racing on Highland near the Green Line. About a year ago, we had two drag racers hanging out their windows, shooting at each other with AK-47s. The police came and they found AK-47 shells littered all over our neighborhood. And it's just enough. Like we have both have little kids. Councilman Four Canale held the meeting to look at solutions to curb the problem after a resident came forward with her story. Starting with MVD, we need more police officers to make the arrests. We need the Attorney General's office to file the, the charges against them. And we need the judges to hold them accountable for their actions. On the panel, city engineers, district attorney Steve Mulroy, other elected officials, and members of the Memphis Police Department. According to- That's the police chief right here, the sister right here. The Memphis Police Department. According to MPD, there has been an uptick in reckless driving since the start of the pandemic. In 2021, 890 people were charged with reckless driving or drag racing. That number grew to 990 in 2022. Chief C.J. Davis says the department is beefing up its traffic division to enforce the rules. Of <laughs> okay. We need more traffic lights. That's what they're going to get, more traffic lights. No, they... they they beefed up their traffic division, man. They they got oh, yeah. they got a uh, they got a special unit out there that's you know unmarked cars, and that's the group that encountered our boy Tyree Nichols. It's like it's hopeless, man. The situation is hopeless. They complain about this shit. They cry about this shit. You got to give these guys a fucking mulligan. These guys didn't even get a mulligan. The first time something went wrong, the whole city turned on. The rules of the road. We instituted a new traffic plan in the downtown area. It was a very concerning because we had race cars just terrorizing our downtown space. Councilman Canale is hoping new legislation with stricter penalties could be the answer. It has to stop. People are using cars they are terrorizing our streets with vehicles and using them as deadly weapons as for other solutions residents say they would like to see a tip line to report reckless driving they also want to know if it's possible to remove vehicles from offenders now reporting live in east memphis is that a wide angle lens or they say the camera adds 10 pounds how many cameras does she have no, man, not... She's just healthy, man. She got a good personality. Yeah, man. Yeah, she got a hell of a personality. Yeah, the only only deadly weapon she has to worry about is a fucking fork. Head game's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they always say that. Yo, it, um, just out of curiosity, did the uh, did the chief throw the guys under the bus, or or is yeah, she oh, behind the officers under the bus? <laughs> for authorities in Memphis Sorry, are preparing guys. for the release of police this. body cam. No, nah, these motherfuckers are un these motherfuckers are under the the pavement. These motherfuckers are literally like part of the, they're part of the sewage system. The city sewage <laughs> system that is this a wrap. Man. When the bus <laughs> ran over <laughs> them, they were turned long ways with the door. <laughs> yeah, man. Authorities in Memphis are preparing for the release of police body cam footage showing Tyree Nichols' arrest. 29-year-old Nichols died three days after the traffic stop. Police pulled him over for reckless driving, but it soon escalated into a violent altercation. The Mem now, he's a great guy. He's the greatest guy in the fucking world, and maybe so. But if I'm a cop in Memphis and I pull this guy over, he gets out of the car running. He looks like any other gangbanger street guy in Memphis. He doesn't look like this great guy that they're making him out to be. But no, I, I they're they're trained. <laughs> they should know better. 
<laughs> no, they, that's why they hired the. That's why they hired some men so they could tell the good ones from the bad ones. Because us gliders can't tell, man. They, they should have known, bro. Yo, the, the, uh, uh, the I've man, seen don't this video, him. and this guy is high as shit. Wait till you see his the way he acts. He died. I want to see his tox- toxicology when it comes back. Oh, I I didn't know the body footage. The body cam footage is out. No, that I know of. I thought it comes out. Yes. Yeah, so, no, I've already seen it. Put it in the back chat. I'm not going to play. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Send it to can, me. Email it to me. I don't even know how to email her. <laughs> I am a fucking bloodite, man. I can barely text. Hey, I, these happen so much that well, my homie man probably got it confused with one of those. Yeah, exactly. Dozens, exactly. Like it comes out tomorrow, but um, salute to David, man. Salute to David. No, this is that Patrice or uh, some lady in BLM's cousin or nephew or some shit. No, this is not him. That was a that was the other one. That was that was in LA. Yeah, you got to be wrong, son, man, Bill. <laughs> yeah, they all look alike, one. don't they, Bill? Yeah, no, yeah. not that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is they tried that one. If that one didn't get traction. This one is the one that's gonna bring them back. It's it's like they they they, they that was like a feeler. They put that out as a feeler, and they said, "Nah, we can't use this because that guy was he was recklessly driving too. That was yeah. crazy. He got he got pulled over reckless driving too. So that's probably why you made the mistake because they both. But it's, got it's probably off. similar in all fairness. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, and that guy was a wreck. Yeah. 